emissions. Terrible for human health, diesel cars, the worst polluters. Countries around the world are facing pressure to reduce emissions. The love affair with the car flies in the face of human well-being. The Volkswagen scandal, in which the German car giant was found out for faking emissions tests to present its vehicles as less harmful, has now prompted a change in European rules. Car makers, it is said, will be forced to be more honest in future. Up until now, emissions testing has been done in laboratories, and that's allowed manufacturers to cheat. It may sound obvious, but the idea is that by testing cars in conditions that drivers actually use them in, you're likely to get a fairer result. The European Commission says this is about transparency. Andy was a car emissions tester for 30 years. He believes it will make a difference. The two elements that we're bringing in today do two things. Firstly, they bring tests up to date, give you reliable representative fuel economy and emissions information, and that emissions is measured on a, a far more onerous test cycle. And then secondly, there's a, there's a, a radical change, and, and the on-road testing, typical of the sort of driving we're doing today, is really a check to make sure that everything works exactly the way it did in the laboratory when you're out on the road. But others are less convinced. German manufacturers are way behind in the electric car market. Many environmentalists say this is actually an attempt by the European Commission on behalf of the German government to protect companies like Mercedes for a few more years. The current EU regulation, whilst introducing much needed real world testing, at the same time allows manufacturers to emit double the pollution limits while driving on the road. That's not good enough. It means people across Europe will continue to suffer from illegal and harmful levels of air pollution. Cities all over Europe are trying their hardest to encourage people out of cars. In the not-too-distant future, electric cars could be made by Google or Amazon. The internal combustion engine is on its last legs. The European Commission has just given it a bit more time. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera in London.